This is Songs of Six, a fantasy colony builder. I'm playing the demo that's now on Steam to preview the full game coming out later in September. If you want me to play the full game on the channel, do let me know. So welcome to my randomly generated world. I've already chosen a spot on the globe, and now I need to find somewhere where there are resources all over the place to actually build our throne room. So we've got some coal over here, we've got some ore over here, and we've got wood. We haven't got a huge amount of stone by the looks of it, but I'm sure we'll cope. So I'm going to choose to build, let's say, here-ish. Uh, we have built our throne room automatically, we have a bunch of resources, and some men's to carry out our orders. So just like in RimWorld, we do actually need to set up things like farms and everything, just so we can survive the winter. It is the first of spring, so we've got plenty of time. So let's start by building fruit farms. Or at least one, anyway. We'll build one there, uh, and then we'll change, I think, to vegetables, and we'll do that, let's see, a slightly bigger one there, for no particular reason. And then we also need some grain as well. And then we'll have plenty of stuff come winter, I think. There we go. Lots and lots of stuff. And people will automatically go and do some ploughing now. Prepare the fields, ready to start growing. Uh, in the meantime, we should start to think about uh, building a stockpile as well. So what I'll do is I'll build a building first and then designate it a stockpile. Prison architect style, rather than Rimworld. I'm going to choose to use wood combo because then it'll lay the walls and the ceilings automatically. Although it'll give us more doors than we ever will actually need. But for a stockpile, it's actually probably a good idea. I'm going to build a fairly large stockpile, um, like that. Uh, this is just a generic room, as I say. Um, and I shall speed things up a lot just so we can see what's what. And they are actually doing the stockpile first, which is probably not the best thing to do, but it'll give us something to do whilst they're ploughing the farm. So they've taken all the wood that we had in storage, uh, and they're now building this. Oh, day-night cycle in full flow there. Uh, the year goes very quickly, by the way. It's, it's the first day of spring now, now the second day of spring, but it'll be winter like in just a, like a week's time or something like that. It, it doesn't hang around. Right, so we have ourselves a room, and the rest of the time, the rest of the lads will now go and sort out the fields. So let's build a stockpile. Doing that there. Uh, and then we need to click that. Uh, and then we need to lay where the crates are going to be. Oh, not there. So plop these down. We need quite a lot of these because we'll just make the one stockpile, I suspect. Not special specialise anything. Now, once we've laid the crates, we need to press tick. Uh, and now click that. Uh, and now that will designate that is ready to build. So they are now, I think, yep, they are now starting to finally properly plough the fields and they'll start planting, and it'll all be absolutely wonderful, and we'll have food before you know it. Uh, so at the moment, it's hard to see, but it's mainly walls, but there's openings at either side, north, south, east, and west. I can um, paste that over with some uh, walls of my own if I really wanted to, uh, but for the stockpile, it's not an issue. Now, it's really starting to piss it down now, so let's have a look at the world map, and we can see how there's um, a, a weather system happening. The clouds with rain and thunder. This, ha this is happening all over the world. It's cool, a nice little thing, that. Anyway, so thunder and lightning happening. That's not going to really affect things. Uh, we just need to speed things up now because this early stage is a lot of just waiting around, waiting for things to happen. So it looks like the farm has now sorted itself out. Look, crops are happening. Who are you? You're Leash Krull. Um, if you look at the character chart at the bottom here, this is what uh, needs are being met. Red, bad, green, good. Yellow, hmm. Somewhere in the middle. It does tell you that, for instance, uh, they are constipated at the moment. They will need a bog at some point in the future. They'll also need a, uh, a bedroom, but that's not until much later on, after a chain of crafting has actually taken place. So, we haven't quite got enough wood. We need one more wood. Um, I think we may have actually built too big a stockpile. So what I'm going to do is designate uh, some spots for people to go cutting wood. I think that's under this menu, so... Woodcutter, here we go. And we're right next to a bunch of trees, so I'll just place that spot there. And that just that's the marker for the middle of the area they'll actually do stuff in. I'm going to do the same this time for stone. These menus are a little bit weird. Now we choose the quarry, and we need to find somewhere where there's actually stone. There's not actually that much stone around. It's a pain in the arse. We may have to go all the way to the right to actually get any. Well, there's a bit there. It's not a huge amount, but sod it. It'll do for now. We can always change that later on. There are animals as well we can hunt, but let's not for the time being. So that'll hopefully... People will... Oh, there's, there's no workers at the moment. This should be soon. There we go. It's just taking a while for them to do, do that. So now people are getting busy chopping. It'll automatically assign two people to that. We can assign more, but at the moment there aren't enough workers. So they'll be getting the wood, and once all the wood's in, 
And that's good. That's a good thing because then we'll be able to finish this off. We still need, we have actually got enough. I think we actually do have enough wood now. I think there might have been still a little bit hanging around. So now we're waiting for them to build the crates, the all important crates. You probably shouldn't do so many crates at the start, but you do get through them very quickly because there's a lot to put in them. Here we go, slowly but surely, the crates are being built, the floor has already been done, and the farm is looking very nice indeed. We're already into summer, so yes, things do go very quickly. I'm going to slow things down a bit because I now need to do some busy work, or some, some difficult fiddly work. I need to assign crates to receive things, so one crate will receive, no, two crates will receive stone, two will receive wood. And down here is the vegetables and grain and stuff like that. Two crates each there. Um, also soon we'll need coal and ore, so I'm going to already create some of those. Otherwise we'll forget later on. Right, so now the haul asses, the people who haven't got any other jobs, will sort out all the hauling. In fact, what you can do is also give one person a job to be a, an actual dedicated haul arser, delivery guy. Right, so that's all happening. They're putting everything into crates. Uh, the actual crate they choose for each individual thing is chosen automatically by the game. Uh, so that's all happening now. So the, the buildings that we need to start thinking about... Well, we need to build a coal mine and an ore mine, because we will need to make metal in a metal smelter, and then the metal will be we'll, we can use to build further rooms down the line. We also, before that, that we need to build a carpenter to turn the wood and the stone into furniture. Or well, at least the wood, anyway. I think you need stone, anyway. So we need to build another building. This time I'm going to do it manually, I think. And because that way we only have one door. Now, I don't see how much stone and wood I've got. Um, choose that. Um, we've got loads of stone, but hardly any wood. So the next building I make, I think I'll, I'll make out of stone. I shall build it. Well, there's so many trees over there. I'm not going to share the walls. I, I seem to have not much luck when I try and build rooms next to other rooms. Uh, well, this isn't going to be particularly very big. And build a roof. And I'm not, not quite sure whether to do it outside or inside. It can be a bit weird and fiddly the way it, it works this, because sometimes you, tr you, you try and build a wall and it only builds an opening. But we shall see how this works. So again, whilst they're busy doing that, I'm going to start thinking about setting up coal mines and ore mines. Uh, more people, more workers, will just randomly turn up. That, it, the game just handles that behind the scenes automatically. Like, at the moment, we have that many people. So there's a lot of people here. It all separated out into different families, including Yeath Krull, the delivery man. Yeah, rather well, you than me, mate. Right, so let's get this coal and ore thing sorted. Let's choose coal. Now, where was the coal? It was around here somewhere. Let's pull out a bit. There. So it highlights it in blue when there's stuff nearby. I'll place that in the middle of all that. And now we need to do the same for ore. Uh, which is... I think that might even be that all the way to the right there. Yeah, there it is. That's quite a long way away. Oh, it's not too, it's not too bad. But it'll take a while for, for us to get any ore. So we can turn that into metal and all that. So it's not perfect, but it'll have to do. What I might do is build a, start building a road, uh, which will help them transport things from right to left. Because this seems to be the, the main industrial area. That's not a wood road, that's like a dirt road. That's a very basic one, but it does help. Right, let's see. Yeah, they are starting to trample the ground now to make the path. Oh god, another big storm. So the harvesters, um, well, they've already harvested the fruit and the veg, and now they're harvesting the grain as well. Because winter is coming. It is now very much the autumn. And they're still getting very busy on the path. Unfortunately, they, they have prioritised that. Yeah, it's done it so like every... It's not, they're, they're not proper walls, they're just openings. So we need to actually make sure that they do bloody well um, build an actual goddamn wall. Right, so now I think we've almost... Um, built the damn thing properly this time. So I'll slow things down a bit. And now we need to designate this as the carpentry room. So we can make furniture. Which is nice. So click that. We need a workbench, so we'll put it there. And also flick the arrow to other stuff. Auxiliary equipment, which increases the efficiency of the room. I don't know what that is, but we can put it there. It's increased the efficiency from 25% to 100%. So it's obviously a good thing. Right, so now that's designated to all get going. I think this road was a good idea, because they do seem to be using that quite a bit. Yeah, it all links together quite nicely. Although, quarry-wise, I think we may need to um, 
we may need to relocate that because already there doesn't seem to be much going on there, does there? It's going to have to be over here, which is a long way away, but never mind. Right, so that's going to happen. All is going to be good. And now, yes, the carpentry is actually now happening, so we do need to make sure that the stockpile is set up to receive furniture, finished furniture. So we'll do that. Already we've got coal in there. We've got, some, we've got loads of ore already. So now next thing I need to do, I guess, is well, we've got the coal go coming in, we've got the ore coming in, we'll need to build a metal smelter. So we need to build another room, and um, preferably close to the storeroom, so we can quickly process stuff. So I think I'll build it kind of here-ish. So this time, I'm using the, um, the templates, but also I'm filling up the walls as well, so I've only got basic doors. You can, you can actually put actual doors on buildings, which um, it seems to be optional, weirdly, but we'll do it anyway. Let's see how much food we've actually got. 35, 28, zero grain. Remember when he meets? Uh, it might be an idea. If we can find out where some uh, game is, we might be able to go hunting for that. Um, can't really... S are they... what are they? Um, they'll, they'll do. Or they'll do down here. Oh, they're, they're, they're really close by, so let's set up a hunting spot. Uh, that's somewhere around here. There is Hunter Outpost. Hunts game and turns them into food and pelts. So, let's place that there, and a, a hunter will be generated, and they'll sod off and kill those things. And we'll have meats! Uh, well, at some point we'll have to make a kitchen. I, don't, I think they can eat raw meat, but not by preference, so ideally we want to cook things. So we'll need to build a kitchen quite soon. So they're still build, busy building this. I think I might, I might actually make one of these the kitchen as well, since we're, we've got that on our mind. Here we go. So slow things down. Um, yeah, you do get raided eventually, just like in RimWorld. Um, uh, so we eventually need to build things... Well, we need to build a couple of military things, but that's not till later on once we've got metal up and running and stuff like that. Um, it gives you a good grace time. As far as I know, I've never actually got to as far as the, um, the tonking yet. Right, so we're a toolsmith. We don't need that just yet. Uh, metal smelter. Here we go. And now let's build a kitchen on the right. And this requires... Stone. Oh, this requires metal to build, and also furniture. We're building furniture, but we haven't actually built the metal yet, because that's going to come out of here. Uh, we can be designating the room, even though we can't actually do anything just yet. Now, the year has just ended, and it's, it's giving us a report of what's going on. We've got loads of meat! The hunter really did his business. We've got plenty of food as well. We've got pelts, 19 pelts. We've got coal ore, and we grew quite a bit as well. Unfortunately, everything's wandered out of our hunting spot, so I think... Once more, I shall have to destroy that and replace it. Eventually, once I've clicked the right thing, place it there. Nice and close. I can hear snoring. People do fall asleep. Um, but yeah, the barracks um, needs furniture and fabric, I think. So and fabric requires us to build a cotton farm, which we may as well be doing. Let's build the cotton farm, which is here. Um, I think we can plonk that there. That'll soak up another two workers. But our population is actually going up quite a bit, so that's all good. But of course they do need the food, which is a bit of a problem. So then once we've um, got the uh, cotton, we can turn that into fabric at a weaver. That requires cotton and coal processed. Right, okay, so our, our metal smelter is actually up and running, so we do need to make sure that we've got somewhere to put the metal. And also let's do cotton as well. Tools. Let's do a let's do a tool crate as well. I don't think we're going to get around to doing that. Also, meat crate. Oh shit, meat and pelt crate. We desperately need that. There's just bodies everywhere. There's meats, delicious meats, ready to. Be there we go. It's been gathered. Here we go. And put into storage. I don't think you have to worry about it being cold or anything. So we have plenty of food, I think. Uh, now, well, it's actually, we've, we've survived the winter now already, so we are already into the new spring, so we should be starting to plant out everything, including our new cotton, which is all very nice indeed. Your man the bellows, mate. There we go. And we've actually made the metal as a result of smelting, and therefore we've now made a kitchen, which doesn't have any workers in it just yet. Uh, we don't have any spare, which is a bit of a problem. So awkwardly now, we've got no kind of fruit or vegetables left. We're very busy growing things. We've had a few deaths. That's not good. Died from injuries. 
Slayed by a beast. I fell over. Who, who cares? Anyway, just get rid of all these other notifications. So I guess a toolsmith and a weaver would be nice. So let's do that. Toolsmith. Coal metal into tools. So we're still waiting for some furniture uh, and a little bit more metal to um, get these toolsmith and the tailors and um, built. So I thought we actually need, we do need, one important thing we do need is a bog to so stop people being so bloody constipated all over the bloody shop. So I'm going to build a quick stone privy, I guess. Um, that's actually the battle screen, we don't want that just yet. And we'll actually have to start making thinking about battley type things soon. Right, get moving. So this is almost done. Construction. Oh, it's done. There we go. Toolsmith, insufficient workers. We're having a serious problem with the lack of workers at the moment, weirdly. Even though we've got plenty of people. I mean, it's just many, many people now. Oop. There we go. And also the, um, the tail is almost done, so we can uh, fabricate fabric type stuff. So we'll also need to make the battles of gearsmith. Turn coal and metal into equipment for your soldiers. Uh, and then we also need the training ground as well. The training ground... Oh, it has to be, it has to be placed indoors apparently. So, in it, yeah, we can't actually have training ground out in the open. I think I'll extend the path a little bit, just a dirt path. I can go to there. I also slide a path down here as well. That may be useful at some point. Oh, this is almost done. Yes, I think this is going to be our training grounds. So let's make some battle gear. There we go. We need a workbench. Oh god, this, um, this has got all the doors in the world, this place. And auxiliary equipment. I should sort that out. Uh, we've almost made a bog. There's still a little bit of extra work that needs to be done. Like that. And finally, they can poo in peace. Dormitory, graveyard. I still haven't actually made a barracks for them to sleep in yet. But at least they can have a poo. Which is the most important thing. Latrines. Is that the only thing we can do? Oh, basins! Ooh. Ah, okay, that makes that's good. That means they can be very clean indeed. They also need workers. So it's the first day of winter. We are really tearing through the time now. I've got a hobble fiend that we we just haven't planted enough food for this year. Um, let's have a look. We've got eight fruit. And six grain, and that's it. And we've got one meat. Oh dear. I think we've buggered up. I think the second year we should have actually been concentrating... Oh, I'm lost now. Concentrating on making more fields. I think we've... I think we're going to starve our people here. Just after setting everything up as well. Everything's nice and sorted. Everyone's having a good poo in the in the poo area over there. Everything it looks really cosy as well. One thing we haven't done is build any things like monuments or... Because there's decorative stuff you can make. Uh, like here. There's also oh, torches as well. So if we wanted to make them feel safe, we can. Let's put them all over the place. So there's also there's all there's there's gems we could we could mine. There's there's a lot of things um, we haven't done. It's like we haven't actually made an animal pasture. Uh, we haven't done a gem mine, but again, I'm not really sure what to do with the gems in the, once we've actually got them. Uh, there's a few other things as well that we could do. Uh, like we could make a bathhouse, um, a library, and feast hall, and taverns. All things that I think are pretty much optional and will just cheer people up. And the, say the main crippling thing at the moment is that we simply haven't got enough workers. So we need, I think we need a few more people if we're going to actually... Um, God, look, we can't even... People can't poo because there aren't any workers. We can't make battle gear. We can't make food at the moment. We can't tailor. We can't even make tools. What are people doing these days? <laughs> they, can't all, they can't all be just farmers. Anyway, I think um, that's, uh, that's a good look at the demo. I don't really want to go on too much of this because it's a very limited demo that's not being supported. And it's also crashy as all hell. So I don't really want to recommend you actually put too much time into this. It's probably best to check out the, the full release when that comes out, which is very shortly. And have a look at that to see a more stable experience because it's been absolute murder to film this. I won't lie. Um, but yeah, I um, haven't quite got to the weapon stage, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so thanks for watching. Do subscribe to the channel to be notified when new stuff goes live. But all the latest and best new indie games around.
uh, support me on Patreon or buy me a coffee if you want to uh, support us on a one-off basis. Um, everything is gratefully received. It really helps us get new equipment and new games to cover. Um, all the best indie games around and all that. Uh, bye for now.